Okay. Now we have the concept of complement of a set. Now earlier uh, I had mentioned about universal sets. So suppose you have universal set as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. This is a universal set and A is 2, 3, 4, 5. And suppose you have B is say 1, 2, 5, 6. So if you see U, A and B, both of them are proper subsets of U. So that's why we take U as the universal set. Now the complement of A is given by U minus A. That means all the elements in U which are not present in A. So the complement of A is going to be not 2, 3, 4 and 5 but 1 and 6. So complement of A, it means all the elements which are not present in A but present in the universal set. Now let's see what is the complement of B that is B dash would be U minus B. U minus B means everything in U other than 1, 2, 5 and 6. So it would be 3 and 4. So 3 and 4 would be B dash. Complement. That means always remember a set along with its complement will always be universal set. B along with its complement will give you the universal set. But also remember one thing. A set and its complement do not have anything in common. Right? So, if you see a particular set A and its complement are disjoint sets because they don't have any element in, complement, in common. I'm sorry. So, this is a basic understanding of what you mean by complement of a set. We'll go further into it. Okay. So, complement of a set, it contains all the elements of universal set except that of a given set. Say, for example, U is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. A is 2, 4, 6, 8. So, A dash is going to be U minus A. U minus 8 will contain not 2, not 4, not 6, not 8. So, it's going to be 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 because the remaining 2, 4, 6 and 8 are present in A. So, A dash is going to be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 which is U minus A. Okay, now let's see this. A is 1, 2, 3, 5, 7. B is 1, 3, C, 6, 10, 5. Uh, and universal set is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, N of A dash. So, first we need to A dash. A dash is going to be anything other than 1, 2, 3, 5, 7. So, it will, there is going to be 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So all these elements are present in universal cell but not in A. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So N of A dash is going to be 10. N again is a cardinal number which means the number of elements in A dash. Similarly, if you look at B dash, so among these, this is the right answer. Similarly, if you look at B dash, which is going to be U minus B. It will contain 2, 4, 5, 7, 9 and also 8 of course. So, if you look at it, it will contain 1, 3, 6, 10, 15 are present in B. So, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 is present. So, it will not be 11, 12, 13, 14. So, you have 11, 12, 13 and 14. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the N of B dash is also 10. So among these, of course, this is the right answer that is 10. So both these, the answer is going to be the same that is 10 in both the cases, which is what we have. 